31 for an ellipse x squared divided by uh, 16 plus y squared divided by 25 equals 1. A rectangle whose sides are parallel to the x-axis and y-axis is inscribed in the ellipse. We're going to find the maximum value of the area of the inscribed rectangle. So basically I took the, I went ahead and started the sketch. Uh, for x, I took the square root of 16 so I went out uh, negative 4 to 4 here. And for the y, the square root of 25 is 5. So I, uh, since it's under the y, I went up 5 and down 5 here. And then I put a point P here for M in some point here. Because we're going to have to find the maximum value of this area right in here. So something like that. All right. So basically what we're going to use is the relationship between the arithmetic mean and geometric means. And uh, first, um, let since we're going to do that, we're going to write our ellipse as m squared divided by 16 plus n squared divided by 25 equals 1. All right, that means my m squared is going to be positive and my n squared is going to also be positive. All right, now by using this relationship, what I can do is I can take my m squared divided by 16 plus n squared divided by 25, and that means it's going to be greater than or equal to, and I'm using this, I'm setting these equal. So I have my a plus b, and I'm setting it equal to, uh, I'm cross-multiplying 2 times the square root of a times b. All right, so that means it's going to be 2 times the square root of m squared divided by 16 times n squared divided by 25. Now, this is when um, um, m squared divided by 16 equals n squared divided by 25. In other words, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So that's all that is. All right. So basically, we already know what this equals. This equals 1. So 1 is greater than or equal to. Now, when I take the square root of m squared times n squared, that's going to be <coughs> uh, m times n. And when I take the square root of 16 and 25, that's going to be 4 times 5. All right, so this is going to be um, 1 is greater than or equal to 1 tenth mn. Or you can say mn is less than or equal to 10. All right, so now let's do the area. The area of our... Um, our uh, rectangle of P, Q, R, S is going to be, um, this is your M is your X. So it's going to be 2M. So we have two of the X's. So that's going to be 2M times, um, and our Y is the N. So that's going to be uh, times 2. So times 2N. And this is going to equal 4mn, which is going to be less than or equal to um, 4 times 10, because mn is 10, right? So this is going to equal 40. So this is your maximum value of the area. So 40 is your answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.